So I think I've battled Alina more times than anyone else on my channel, I've noticed. Like, she always wants to battle me, and we always have good games, so it's like they're always uploadable. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if you haven't checked her out yet, link will be in the description as usual. You should go check her out. She's pretty damn cool. Also, she's been doing some really cool artwork for me lately. Like, on my DN videos, she just made a thumbnail for that, so if you haven't go check, gone and checked that out yet, you should. And then she made my new channel layout, so that's always cool too. But yeah, you should go check out her channel. Because she got some cool content and stuff. So link will be in the description. Go check her out. Anyways. Hey guys. Wow. We got a match today. Like I said against Moody Pones. It's an RE match. Because I was like. Alina. Or Alina was like. Let's play. Or I don't know what fucking happened. But I decided. Hey. Let's randomly play RU. Because I haven't done that for a little bit. So. uh Got my RU team that I've been using. Because I don't have anything else in RU right now. I kind of like this team. Even though it sucks. A lot. But whatever. Uh, she's got just a bunch of stuff she threw together. Because she just went and looked at a. Uh, what was are you and was like okay this stuff but she's actually got some pretty annoying threats looking at it like main things i gotta watch out for are that moltres and that rotom and then i gotta figure out a way to kill that clefable just because i've no super effective moves on my team to kill it and it's just i know clefable can get really annoying really quick and just rotom and moltres hit my team way too hard and way too quick because I know Moltres is probably going to be Scarfed, or even Rotom could be, so I gotta see what I can do. Keep my walls kind of around for them, and just, uh, yeah, that's kind of the main game plan. But, uh, leads, I figure Steelix is my best lead to go with, because got Sturdy, can get rocks up, so let's just do that. So she's going to lead with Moltres, which is just fine. Uh, I can take one hit. She just U-turns out, though, just in case I want to switch, but I don't, because that would kind of be stupid at this point. And she goes out to her own Steelix, and she just gets her rocks up after mine, but I can start Earthquaking her now, so that is always fine and dandy, which is what I proceed to do is Earthquake, because Earthquaking is fun. And we kind of get into an Earthquake war right here, but I would essentially win just because uh, I got the first Earthquake off, so that's kind of a thing. But she's going to switch out to her Moltres right here, knowing I'd probably go for Earthquake, and I just really didn't feel like predicting at this point. I mean, the thing is, I do have a switch into Moltres, so... That's why I wasn't too worried, so I can go into my switch into Moltres now, which is Slow King, who can take a fire attack, but she actually goes for Hurricane, and it's actually going to do a really huge chunk, and I'm not even sure if I can live another one, so I don't even want to risk it, so I just go right back out to Celix to take the Hurricane, because I figure with the resist, I should be able to take it, but she misses, so we won't even know if I get to take it or not, so that's fun. I decided to just go for Gyro Ball for I don't even know what reason why, I was just like, let's click Gyro Ball. And Clefable comes in on a gyro ball and takes it, obviously. And I'm just like, let's just start earthquaking because damage is cool. And here, I thought she was going to switch out to Moltres, predicting me to go for another earthquake. So I'm like, let's roar and be smart. But she stays in and decides me toss it. So I was like, well, fuck. And then we'll fuck again because Moltres comes in. And th that's just fantastic because now it gets a wish. And yeah, I have to switch out again because I cannot risk. Steelix dying because Steelix is still really awesome right now. So I have to risk her going for Hurricane, but luckily she just goes for Flamethrower. So Slowking's able to take that, and I can just get a Thunder Wave off because I need to paralyze something and then get her a cover off. So that's kind of the game plan there. So I think. Do I just recover here? I either recover here or. Okay. I just rely on her generator, switch right out to Entei because I figured she was going to go for Wish or something weird. So I was like, alright, Entei, come in freely. Get a Flare Blitz off, because I need you to do that. And I just Flare Blitz the uh, Clefable, and I'm actually able to Oko it. Well, take it out from where it was at, rather. Because I am Choice Banded, so that probably helps. And it's a Flare Blitz, so yeah. Rotom comes in, though. I know she's probably going to outspeed me, because she's probably scarfed the way she brought it in. But I'm like, fuck it, I gotta just try and do it, because otherwise I'm probably fucked. So she goes for Lendable, Eliminate, and just take her out with Flare Blitz. So that is pretty fucking goddamn cool. But... On the double down, I'm going to bring in Slow King, and she's going to bring in Moltres. I'm just like, okay, Slow King, just kill it with a skull, or Psy Shock. I don't know why I went for Psy Shock, but whatever. It doesn't really matter, actually, but I go for a move and kill it. So, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I do kill off the Moltres, so that is very nice. And now she's just going to bring in uh, Zangoose. I really don't care about saving Slow King anymore, just because I'm pretty sure I don't need it. So, I let it go. And now I'm going to go to Steelix because I figure I can bait her in close combat and hopefully live a hit and kill her with a Gyro Ball. And if I don't kill her, Poison should be enough to bring her down maybe. I don't know. We'll see. 
but I do take the close combat decently and just kill her off with the gyro ball, so that is nice. But now she goes into Steelix, I'm able to live an earthquake and just get another earthquake off of my own, so that is nice. But she'll be able to kill me off with another one because I'm pretty sure she outspeeds me by now. I haven't really been paying attention because it's Steelix versus Steelix who really gives a fuck. But she does take me down, that's fine. I didn't really need Steelix anyways. Because, I mean, it would have been nice, but I didn't need it, quote unquote. But whatever the case, I bring in Sceptile, just go for HP Fire because I figured it would kill. And it does kill, so that is pretty nice because it's out of the way now. I don't have to deal with it. Because I don't think anything else on my team would kill it. Because I have Galvantula and I have Cincino left, so yeah. But now she's going to go into this Arbok, and I figured for some reason I wouldn't die to something and she would just do something weird. So I'm like, let's just randomly Leech Seed. And she went for Coil. So that kind of works for me, so now I'm just going to get a sub up, because I'm like, fuck it, I'm just going to sub Leech Seed stall this thing, because I, I, I'm a meanie. That's essentially it. <laughs> I, I, I just figured it would be safe enough, so I might as well just be safe. And uh, just go over HP Fire right here, because I can, and she just gunk shots me, so that's fun. That's extremely fun, breaks my sub, obviously gets a pointless crit, and uh, yeah, next turn she'll most likely die, because she has Life Orb, so... That's a thing, but then she sucker punches me, and I completely forgot this thing got sucker punch, and that's actually going to take me out because she crits me. She might have just straight killed me anyways because it was plus two, but she kills herself with life orb, and that's actually really fortunate for me because if she only, well actually no, if she only got one coil up, she probably couldn't kill my whole team, but the fact that uh, it went down there meant my other two guys were safe because they would have definitely died to a sucker punch, so... She almost would have had it if she just had more health or she took hits better. But that is the game. So GG, Alina. It was a pretty fun match. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to go check out her channel. Link will be in the description. And uh, all that stuff. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Such, such, blah. Rick, comment, sub. And later, guys.